But yeah, it's like, I don't dislike any of the characters. Like, in Tales of Symphonia, in Tales of Symphonia, I did not like Lloyd, I did not like Colette, and I hated Genis as a character. In this game, I don't really dislike any of the main characters. They're all cool. I like them. But I'm not, it's not like, from like Tales of Zillia, Jude was a great character. I loved Jude. Gaius was a great character. I liked Gaius a lot. Mila was a good character. I really liked those characters. I don't like these characters as much as I did from the other ones, from some of the other Tales games. Richard was a character I really liked from Tales of Graces. I was a big fan of him. Alvin was a really cool character. I liked Alvin's character from Tales of Zillia. I don't dislike Soray or Alicia or Dezel or Lila, but I don't like them all. I, it's like, I'm okay with them. I think they're all right characters, but I'm not like, ah, oh, yes, such good characters. I love these guys. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to get across. You guys are, you viewers are smart people. I trust you understand what I'm trying to convey. That's a rock. Stay away from me. I like how the scorpion can touch Rose, but if it touches me, we have to go into battle. Ooh, more chests. Don't mind if I do. Floric hairband. I think that is for, uh... 4,500 gold. Jeez, I'm getting rich. Uh, headband is for... No, Tiara is for Lila. Who is headband? Let me see if those boots are better than calcite. Yes, they are. So I'm putting those on, and then I can fuse the other ones, I think. Didn't someone... Yeah, they, they both have calcite, so I can fuse this calcite with hers later. Uh, who... Are you headband? Wait a minute, where's your thing? Do you not have a... Oh, you don't. You have two daggers instead. So for your second dagger slot, you get rid of an accessory slot. Okay. Yeah, it's not hers. Oh, you're a headband, Edna. Why didn't I know that? 6 minus on that, 21 on that, 12 plus on that, 15 minus on that. Defense and attack, KO protection plus 20% duration of stat reductions. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Floric. That sounds good. Alright then. Where does this lead us to? There is a, uh, what the heck is this called? This is, is a, monolith. a monolith. Yep, a monolith. Advanced techniques. While armatized equipment skill effects from both partners are combined, for example, if both players have an effect of paralysis reduced by 50% skill, armatization will add the percentages and completely protect against paralysis. That's cool. This is one of the many tactics unique to armatization. Note that bonuses are not calculated based on this combination. In the above example, the two skills would not trigger a stack bonus. That makes sense. I get it. That's really cool. Oh, I can't get through. Yeah, I can't jump through it. I guess, I bet that I get an earth power with Edna later that would let me break through that but I don't have that yet. So I guess it's time to leave then. So because I don't have a way to break through those rocks, which again, I can only assume is like the earth ability I would get from Edna, which I don't understand why I don't have, or a water ability from Miklio. I don't get why I don't have those two things, but for some reason I have the wind and the uh, fire ability from Lila and Dezel. I must need that to get through here further. I don't know if this is the place where that Hellion is, where the uh, Seraph that's the Lord of the Land has been turned into a Hellion, but uh, I can only assume so. If I run into another cave of some sort, then I'm definitely going to check it out and see if the underground lake is there instead. So I don't know what the purpose of this place is, unless that is it. Leave me alone. All of you leave me alone. Where am I going? Jeez, this place is huge. Even if there there are no save points for me to fast travel, and even if there were save points, I don't have the Lord of the Land back yet, because she's apparently a Hellion at the moment. So I can't even turn... I can't even teleport if I did have a save point. I'm literally missing both of the two things that I needed to teleport. Teleport, fast travel, whatever. It was still worth coming down here for the arsenic, I would say. Bum bum ba dum. How much time have I got? Oh, we still got about ten minutes. If we can get out of here relatively quick, I am going the right way. If we can get out of here relatively quick, we can go ahead and try and progress the story a little bit more before I have to save and wrap up for today. I need to get this rendered, and I also have some other shenanigans for school that I have to do this way. Screw off, lizard men. I don't have time for you. Is this the exit, or does this take me back to another floor? I think I have to go through one more floor. Yeah, I do. Uh, da, 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 down there. Okay. Did I go down this way before? What's over here? 
Can I jump right there? Is there a rock blocking me right there? Or is that a wind jump? Could be either or. Let's go down here and check really quick before I jump out of here. Gotta go left. Yep. Bum -ba -da -dum. Life bottle. Nice. Well, there's some of this stuff. Still have not used any, even though I should be. Uh, it is a jump. No, it's a jump and a rock. Awesome. So I can't get through there. I guess you're supposed to come back to this place later whenever I get access to my Earth ability. No clue when that's going to be, but we'll see. Which way? That way will work. I think it's either way, but whatever. Watch out for the undead popping up out of nowhere. Bum 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 ba dum bum 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 da dum. I checked this monolith, didn't I? Yeah, I did, because it's not giving me the whole, hey, new monolith we haven't seen before detection thing. Back into the Volgren Forest we go. Alright, well, that was a nice little waste of time. <laughs> we got some items, though, so it wasn't completely worthless, I guess. Alright, I can't use this to teleport, can I? Oh, I can. Save point travel. Sweet. Where can it take me? I don't want to go back that way. I want to go... Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't... I thought that I was out of range of the Lord of the Land to be able to do that. Don't you need the Lord of the Land for save point travel? Maybe you don't. Huh. I picked up a truly delightful pipe from the Sparrow Feathers. Even the most distinguished artisans know it is a marvel. I'm rather fond of it, but I'm fond of money even more. I suppose I can part with it for, oh, 5,000 gold. What do you say? No. Bum. Oh, no, wait. The pipe is... I can see some malevolence popping about right now, by the way. Yeah. The pipe is, uh, what we were given that we had... We had to give that to Rose way back when to get to the, uh... The Lady of the Lake thing where we pulled out the Sacred Blade and became the Shepherd. Uh, is it just me or does it feel like there's miasma in the air? Miasma is some super deadly stuff from what I understand. Where am I going? <laughs> That's the forest. Okay, I thought it was. I need to go and sleep at the end because you get cutscenes from sleeping at ends. Almost forgot about that. Always go and sleep at the ends. This town's just bursting with sinister rumors, isn't it? Yeah. No wonder they call it the Age of Chaos. And a lot of them sure sound like the work of Hellions. If you're interested, why don't we investigate? But we have some place to be already. Taking a little sidetrack isn't gonna kill us. It's not like we promised a specific time frame or anything. I'm with Rose. Me too. It's a good opportunity. Why squander it? <laughs> Fair point. All right, let's do it. No regrets. Except the regret of getting involved. The worst regret of all, getting involved. Alright, well, you guys know the drill from the last time we did this. I'm going to continue to sleep at the end until it stops giving me cutscenes. Is there any sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes, what skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... <sighs> well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? <laughs> Typical Rose. Depending on how many cutscenes we get, this might be the rest of the video is just skits. There's something I want to tell you, since you've acquired the power to armatize. Yeah? Hidden arts are stronger than martial arts. Seraphic arts are stronger than hidden arts. And martial arts are stronger than seraphic arts. That's the basics. But we can only use martial arts and seraphic arts, which means that seraphim aren't able to accommodate all types of enemies. You guys can use martial arts and hidden arts on your own. And during armatization, you can use hidden arts and seraphic arts. Human, seraphim, and armatization. So we can compensate for each of the three different types depending on how we use them. Yeah. For example, for enemies that don't use any seraphic arts, it would be more advantageous if you armatize. 
Of course, you may encounter enemies which can be taken down more easily when you are not armatized as well. It just means that the armatization isn't all powerful. Right. There's the advantage of being able to concentrate two powers into one. But there's also a disadvantage to that as well. Assess your situation at all times. But the worst situation you can get yourself in is getting in a pinch from overthinking things. You gotta find your own balance out there. I'll take things one step at a time. Thanks, Dezel. I can't tell the different. I need to look it up, and I'm gonna do it after- hopefully I remember to do it after I record this. I'm gonna look up exactly the difference in how I tell the difference between Hidden, Martial, and Seraphic Arts, because I need to know that. Obviously, so I'll figure that out for next time. Dezel, do you know a lot about ruins? I do have some knowledge about them since I've been around, but I've never been interested enough to explore. It's really fun to imagine what these artifacts have been through over the years. Ponder over our new discoveries, close in on the truth, or expand on what we already know. I do have the ability to sense certain smells left behind in the earth, to detect humans and certain objects left behind since ages past. Whoa, you can sense through smells? Is that something even someone like me could learn? You can learn through experience to a degree, but you need talent if you want to truly master it. I'll try my hardest. Let me know if I overlook anything important. Yeah, as long as I don't get into the way of your precious hobby. <laughs> I can't take a screenshot. Why can't I take a screenshot? I didn't even click anything, so why would it tell me that? That's weird. I wonder why that popped up. Water, pierce my enemies. Sharp ice, crack and scatter! If I can just exert control over the diffusion here. Ugh. Couldn't quite suppress it enough. But I'm starting to get the feel for it at least. Hang in there, buddy. What the heck was that? Hang in there, buddy. Alright, I think this might be it. Oh no. Boy, I gotta say. That improv act during the inspection sure was a hoot. Yeah, Lila in particular was getting way into it. To tell you the truth, I've always loved performances like that. I've been wanting to try one out my whole life. I gotta say, that was pretty sweet. Coming up with those ridiculous lines on the fly. We Seraphim have way more experience than you folks. Now that you mention it, that's right. A Seraph's age basically has nothing to do with their appearance. How old are you actually, Lila? I'd like to know that too. I feel like she must be older than me. That's classified. I guess your athleting prowess only applies in certain situations. <laughs> Never ask a girl how old she is. Or how much she weighs. Both of them lead to bad times. I've never asked a girl her height before. I wonder if they get upset about that as well. I thought that after that Miklio one we had hit the bottom of the barrel, but apparently not. I could say I'm a fan of this paper fan. No, it's too easy. You still awake? Oh, hey. I think this is the first time I've seen you with your hair down. I need to set it properly to make sure it doesn't get in the way during battle. Styling is a pain. I just cut mine when it gets too long. Well, I think you have radiant hair. You really think so? How long did it take you to grow your hair? I can't really recall a time when my hair was short, honestly. You mean you can't remember because it was so long ago? You have been around for a while and all. Indeed. When you've been around as long as I have, you forget even what you had for dinner two nights ago. Pretty sure even humans can't remember that. I don't remember the first word I learned to say either. Yeah, once again, welcome to the world of mortals. <laughs> I can't remember what I had for dinner two nights ago, honestly. Uh, no, I got nothing. I can't remember for the life of me. I didn't have anything fancy. It was probably... I might not have even had dinner. I might have just like grabbed some popcorn and called it a night. Oh, hey, we're done. And I was right. We're a little over an hour now, so this is the perfect time to stop recording. All right, those were all some pretty good skits. The Miklio one, where he was like, the ice crack and shatter, like, made no sense. Didn't have enough context. Oh, hey, we got one more skit before we go. So, do you think Rose has gotten used to us being around yet? Yeah, I feel like she mostly has. She may be a big old scaredy cat, but she's pretty adaptable. I'm not so sure. That fear of hers may run deeper than it looks. Remember, it was powerful enough to suppress even her prodigious resonance. With the help of someone we know, 
I don't have to apologize for anything. But even so, Rose tagged along of her own volition. I'm sure she'll be just fine. I want to believe she will. Human compatriots like Rose are one in a million. In more ways than one. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking, maybe we're the ones getting used to Rose and not the other way around. Very likely. <laughs> ah, you're talking to Lila and the others while they're invisible again, aren't you? Creepalicious! <laughs> Guess she's still got a ways to go. It just takes time and patience. Creepalicious. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save and call it a day. Have I not saved at all? I don't think I've saved at all. Huh. Yeah, because it's the 28th, so... Save over this one. I don't think... I didn't save at all today until just now. That was risky. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back, we're going to go to... Pendrago? Pendrago to meet with Sergey, because we have to do something about the Cardinal, because apparently the Cardinal is abusing her power. Something like that. Yada yada, etc, etc. I'll see you all next time. Until then, farewell.